Hi guys, it's uh, quarter past six in the evening. Just got back from shopping. Just sorting my kit out. Um, I'm going to go back to my campsite in the morning. My trusted Euro Hike 90 litre bag. Primarily, it's going to have... Um, because where I am, I'm planning to do a three-nighter. Maybe even a four-nighter, because the weather is supposed to be good this uh, this week. So I've uh, got all my little, uh, what is it, uh, two-litre? No, four, yeah, two and a two two point two liter water jars. I've got several of them ready because there's no water in that place, and uh, so I'm going to be taking quite a lot of uh, water with me. Um, right, I've just bought my um, tent bag. Uh, has seen better days, so I just bought one, a new. You're a hike 20 litre. Uh, only eight quid um, from 16. And I had to barter the guys down at Millets for it as well. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get this uh, tent. Yeah, yeah, it might go. Uh, I'm gonna, hopefully I'm going to get the tent in the new bag plus some extras like the tent pegs and guy ropes and everything, anything re tent related in, into that bag. So I'm going to try that now. Um, I was at another charity shop and they've got a couple of uh, tripods in there for 12 quid, aluminium ones, very big ones. Obviously a lot better than this, but they wouldn't negotiate down oh god what's happened with bartering these days you know charity shop that you would have thought you know i've been there several times and the same things are are still there and, and no one's buying them so you know i thought to myself well i go on, try 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 and get them down anyway i've got all my cooking utensils I've got my little pans and pots and pans in here and i've commandeered uh what looks like the the innards of a uh, a slow cooker or something, a rice cooker or something. It's, uh, it might act as another pot as well. But that's all my cooking stuff in there. Pots, pans, kettle. It's all in one thing. So your tent, I'm going to sort that out in a second. My trusted Gerber axe. Oh, this is a new addition. Uh, I was in. A, I was walking past the hardware store because I needed a new saw um, to chop some big logs. So. It's, it's cheap and cheerful, okay? It's uh, basically, it's the hand fixed blade saw. It's 275 uh, uh, millimeters, uh, triple bladed. So it should do the job to get through some good 10, 10 inch uh, logs and all that sort of thing. So I'm hoping that'll, that'll last, but it's, it was like, I think, what was it? Seven quid? Yeah, so yeah. The only the only drawback is is that the scabbard is it's not very secure and everything else. But yeah, you get what you pay for. So I've got my uh, a new saw. I've got my Gerber axe with its own little saw. I've, I've created a new little bag here for all my other tools, all the little bits and pieces that you possibly need. My 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 bushcraft knife, a couple of extra knives, um, other bits of pliers, all sorts of little tools in it. Got my tent poles, another pole I always use for. I've got a little bag of um, uh, tent pegs, they're going in there. Oh, that's part of the tripod. Uh, what's, what have I got in here again? Oh, yeah, all the cooking, cooking stuff in there. I'll just I'm trying to find compact little um, storage devices, you know, these sort of. Um, Things. So I've been running around a lot of charity shops today and uh, looking for things like this. I'm, I'm, ideally, I'd love to be able to get something that I can put all my tools in and in, in one little uh, bag. So they're all tools here, cooking stuff here, tent stuff here, you know, tent related stuff, my lights. I still haven't used my water filter yet. Oh well. <laughs> 
uh, fire, all my fire kit in here. I know it's pretty big, but I've got everything in there. I mean, all my cotton buds, all my petroleum jelly and everything else. And a couple of other little bits and pieces. I've got my toiletries. Yes, you can't go without that, you know, just in case. Uh, I've got a new big bag of uh, uh, wet wipes. Uh, what are they? Oh, uh, yes. Baby pine, yep. You can't go. If it's good enough for the baby, it's good enough for your ass, okay? Uh, of course, my uh, sleeping mat and my sleeping bag. But basically, that's it. Um, got my. I'm going to fill up my thermos, of course. Um, just debating whether. See, most of this stuff in here will be. Primarily, it'll be all, all the water. And I'm actually taking. Uh, a load of cans and shit so I'm gonna sort of like um, keep them there in, in the camp while I'm working and uh, try and store them you know keep them safe so I don't have to bring too much the next time I come you know it's always a, a good idea um, I'm just debating whether or not I should bring some extra clothing as well to leave there but if I do that then it's gonna look like someone's living there and that's um that's something that's um, some like weighing on my mind there. Should I bury the stuff so it doesn't look like anyone's living there? Uh, oh, dilemmas, dilemmas. Oh, uh, yeah, Tesco's a three hundred gram refill. Tesco's classic rich growth. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, you know, it's coffee in the morning. You, if you want it really strong, you just add extra extra couple of teaspoons or whatever. <laughs> And uh, it certainly does the trick for me, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gearing myself up. I'm going to put probably close to, I've got five, yeah, but at least another 10 litres of water. Um, close to 15 litres, I think. Um, and uh, this weekend, I got some wine and some whiskey. So, yeah, it's going to be a, uh, oh, look at that. Bee. Busy bee, busy bee. Did you see the bee? Oh, and that was a big ass one as well. Oh gosh, yeah. I'm considering here. Consider this. I'm considering once the camp's built, seeding the place. Um, I'd like to see nice little fields of bluebells, pansies, um, and other little things. But what do you think about maybe putting some fruit trees up? I know that in that particular area they're coping, um, you know, to get rid of all the dead stuff and uh, to, to to let the undergrowth grow again. But I'm just thinking to myself, would it be nice for me to start planting some fruit trees? Hmm, that would be an idea. I mean, definitely try to smarten the place up and get some different flora and fauna going in. Um, I don't really want to contact the the guy who's in charge of the of the wood because I I'm not sure whether I know they allow the scouts there to do their camping and stuff like that, but whether or not they'd like independent bushcrafters and everything else to come in and and do it. It's another issue. Um, so you know, I mean, two minds. Anyway, drop some comments on on uh, on the end of this video and and let me know. Anyway, uh. I don't know if you can see me. Catch you later.